Yeah, thank you. That's so kind of you. Okay, it's starting a little bit later. Mm. <sighs> okay, hello and welcome. Today we are celebrating day 28 of the 30-day Sunrise Yoga Series, Unleashing the Magic of Yoga. And I sincerely, when you unleash something, it is out in the world, but your world starts with what's around you. So I hope this swirl of magic is around you and that you are benefiting wonderfully from this amazing decision you made to upset your life, to have a different life, a life that's in greater alignment, a life that is allowing whatever commitment you made at the beginning of this process, journal, but is allowing that commitment to come to fruition because the only way it can come to fruition is if your life is different. If you ask for a million dollars and the door is locked because the door is always locked, can't get in, right? So we not only make a commitment, but we live, but we take a different action so that we can allow the new things to exist. We are also taking a tour of the days on these last few, this last segment of our journey. Thursday was Thor's Day, the day of partnership and power and getting things done, very masculine energy. Friday was Frey's Day, the day of celebration, fertility, beingness, celebrating ourselves, celebrating what we are and what we allow ourselves to be. Saturday was Saturn's Day, the day of luck, of abundance, of serendipity, of fortuitousness. Sunday was the day of the sun. We did not really focus on the sun because Sunday is like very popular. We know what it's about. It's the day of the sun. It's the day of rest. It's the day that culminates the endings and beginnings. It's that fulcrum. And then Monday. Monday could be looked at, could be looked at in two ways. Monday is one, mono, one day, the first day. In Germany, Monday is the first day of the calendar. In the U.S., Sunday is the first day of the calendar. So it could be looked at as a Monday but I prefer to see it as the moon's day, the day of the moon. Sunday is the sun's day. Monday is the, mun's, the moon's day. And in other languages like French, lundi is luna, lune, lundi, Monday, moon's day. And to celebrate moon's day, Monday, we are actually going to do a moon salutation. Every Sunday, besides this last one, we learned a new layer of the sun salutation. The first Sunday we did sun A, the second Sunday sun B, the third sun C. And now we're going to do the moon salutation, which in contrast to the sun salutation, which is typically used to warm up before we get into the series and sequences of poses in a class, particularly in Hatha, or in, in um, excuse me, in vinyasa or in hatha, on Monday, I mean, on in the moon salutation, we're actually looking at, this is a practice we might use at night. We're gonna hold things for a shorter period of time. We're going to be more focused on flowing through and the poses we're going to take are going to be those that are more commonly aligned with calmness, soothing, and of course, you're going to see one of the ones that we can't, that seems to show up with every theme of every day, which is goddess pose. Let's um, get ready to begin. And I have a little surprise at the end, so definitely stick around. Okay, letting the eyes float closed. Letting the parts of the body that are touching the ground commune with the ground. There is a, a kiss that's happening between the body and the ground. And the more we love these points of contact, the more solidly we stand and be on the ground, the less work we're doing to stand. 
Breathing in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Again, breathing in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Let's take our two fingers, our pointer finger, our middle finger to our third eye. Let's take our thumb and place it over our right nostril. Let's take our ring finger and place it out so that it's ready to go for the alternate nasal breathing exercise, Nadi Shodana. And we'll let the pinky hang out. The left hand will let lay on our knee, palm facing up. Let's find out where our body balances are for today. Is there blockage in either of the nasal passages? Let's go. Inhale through the left nostril, four counts. Hold, cover the left nostril. Exhale, six counts. Hold. Inhale, four counts, right nostril. Hold, cover the, right, the nostril with the thumb. Exhale, left nostril. Hold. Inhale, right, left nostril, four counts. Cover the nostril, hold. Exhale, right nostril, six counts. Hold. Inhale, left, right, excuse me, right nostril, four counts. Cover with thumb, hold. Exhale, six counts, left nostril. Release the Position the right hand, let it lower down to the right knee. Let the eyes float open. And let's begin with our Fountain of Youth, five Tibetan rituals. Here we go. Checking my radius. Yes, I'm good. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five. Oh, that's all I needed to do. <laughs> Close the eyes, bring the body together. Oh. Mm. Mm. Let this then catch you. Okay, let's go to camel pose. You know the cues. It's day 28. Here we go. Inhale. <gasps> Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five. Number three, J. Okay, work at your level, just a reminder. And inhale, exhale. One, inhale, exhale. Two, inhale, exhale. Three, inhale, exhale. Four, inhale, exhale. Five. Tabletop. I will remind you, hands wider than your hips, 
feet a little bit closer together, then hip width apart, shoulders pinned to the ground, elbows facing the front side of the mat, eyes of the elbows facing the front side of the mat, the elbows, in order to do that, we'll try to meet, try to reach each other. Okay, here we go. Inhale, exhale. One, inhale, protective grip. Exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, upward to downward facing dog. Here we go. Inhale, exhale. Eyes of the elbows facing the front side of the mat. Don't forget protective grip for the hands and wrists. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. That's three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Exhale. Five, bringing everything together in kneeling, eyes closed, inhale, exhale, om or lion's breath. <sighs> Let's do the moon salutation. Here we go. To get into it, because we're coming from the ground, we're gonna just do this transition. It's not part of the salutation. You're going to start in tabletop. You're going to push into the front hands. You're going to flip the toes to face the short front side of the mat. Push back to downward facing dog. Push, bring the right heel to the sky. Three-legged dog. Bring the knee through the center of the body, placing that foot between the two hands. Let's corkscrew that left foot to so that the left side of the foot. The knife's edge is parallel to the short side of the mat and come right to warrior two. For a moment, inhale, exhale. Don't make any adjustments for warrior two because we're going to starfish. And goddess, da, 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 da. <laughs> you can take sun or moon. I'm taking moon for moon salutation. We're going to go to goddess. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, starfish. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right leg. The, the leg that is was during the lunch on Warrior Two, And bring your body down to triangle. We know triangle, right? Stacking the body, going for gentleness over stretch, over effort. Inhale, that was your exhale, inhale. Exhale, rotate the body for pyramid. So it's airplane hands and that back foot it's going to just almost like a rabbit. It's going to move a little bit. The toes are going to move a little bit towards the short front side of the mat. You can take the hands on the hips if you like. Flat back. And the arms can go out in two directions for pyramid. Inhale, flat back here. Exhale. Inhale, lunge on Janayasana. You can take that back leg bent or straight. Exhale, two hands on either side of that right foot. Inhale, protective grip on those hands, plank. Exhale, lunge, left foot comes between the two hands. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Exhale. Pyramid. I'm doing hands on the hips because I have a space constraint. Inhale, 
triangle rotating the front side body towards the long right side of the mat. Mm. Stacking the shoulders, straight line through both hands. Inhale, exhale here. Inhale, warrior two on the left foot. Exhale. Inhale, starfish. Exhale. I have to bring my feet a little closer together for goddess from warrior two. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, starfish. Exhale, warrior two on the right side. Inhale, hold warrior two. Exhale, stay there. Inhale, straighten that right leg and lift up and out of the left hip to fold to the side, keeping those shoulders twisted towards the long right side of the mat. Inhale to triangle. Exhale, hold. Inhale. Exhale, take that twist to pyramid. Hands on the hips or hands out in airplane. The back foot is going to pivot so that the toes are pointing a little bit more towards the front side mat, but not completely. That's a different pose. Inhale, flat back in pyramid. Exhale. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Hands can come up or they can stay on the hips. Back leg can stay bent or it can come to straight. Make sure the hips are square to the short front side of the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, bring two hands down to either side of that right foot. Inhale to plank. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bring the left foot between the two hands. Inhale, plank. I mean, <laughs> inhale, Anjaneyasana. Exhale. Inhale, pyramid. Exhale, flat back. Inhale, twist for triangle on the left side. Exhale. Inhale, come up to warrior two. I mean, excuse me, come up to, yes, that's right, to warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, starfish. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, starfish. Exhale, warrior two on the right foot. Inhale, straightening that leg for triangle and bending forward, inhale. Exhale, hold. Inhale, reaching through both of those activated hands. Exhale, pyramid. Squaring those hips, bringing the stance a little bit, bringing the feet a little bit closer together and flattening the back. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, two hands on either side of the right foot. Inhale, plank. 
Exhale, left foot comes between the two hands. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, with the left foot in front. Exhale, pyramid, hands on the hips. Inhale, triangle, rotating that front side body. Exhale, hold. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, starfish. Exhale, goddess. Inhale. Exhale, deep in goddess. Inhale, starfish. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, triangle. Exhale, twist to pyramid. Inhale, Anjane Asana. Exhale, two hands come to either side of the right foot. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left foot comes between the two hands. Inhale, Anjane Asana. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale, triangle pose. Exhale, hold. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, starfish. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, starfish. And bring everything together. The arms come down and the feet come together, honoring your sequence. In contrast to sun salutation, where my voice typically rises and more energy and heat builds. I hope you too noticed a soothingness and a releasing feeling and a calmness. That was not purposeful. That was literally the effect of the sequence. So now the surprise. Let's all come to our mats. Let's bring the heels down and I'm going to guide you through a very tiny little mini teeny tiny yoga nidra i will make a loud clap only at the very end of the video so that if anyone fell asleep they don't stay asleep but we'll hope for the best for yoga nidras i typically because they're a little bit longer than how much time we spend in shavasana I typically will have my feet flat to the ground and my knees tenting, leaning towards each other so that I can support my lower back for the extended amount of time that it is stretched in this, in this pose. So let's begin. Let the eyes close. The breath is easy and natural. We're going to first feel the tension, feel a light tension in the scalp. And now release it. Feel that tension in that place where the hairline 
or the skull line and the forehead come together and release. Bring attention to that space between your eyebrows. Feel the tension there, slight tension work, and release. Let your eyes sink into your head. Letting everything relax around the eyes. All the muscles released. Feel the energy around your nose. Just a slight tension and release. Bring your attention to your the space right between your nose and your top lip. And release. Let your lips stay slightly open. Let your teeth come apart. Let your tongue release down into the back of the mouth. As you release the tongue from that place of readiness at the front of the mouth to the back of the mouth, you also release the tension in the back of the neck. Now bring your attention to the clavicle. Tighten that skin around the clavicle and then release. Like a wave, feel that release. Ripple slowly down through your shoulders, through your chest. through your upper arms, through your ribs, through your elbows, through your belly button, through your lower arms, through your womb or area where the sex organs are located through your wrist and through your crotch and butt, through your hips and through your fingers until it releases out through the fingers that wave of relaxation. Bring your attention to your back. First, the upper back. Feel a slight tension in the upper back. And release. Let that wave that you released roll and unfurl itself down the middle back, down the lower back, down the seat, continuing and picking up with the wave moving over the front side body. You have the wave of release rolling through the thighs, front and back. The lower thighs, front and back, the knees, the shins, the ankles, the arches, the toes, and out. Subconsciously, that wave took with it 
any need to be jealous, angry, happy about something bad happening to somebody else that's resentful, envious, frustrated, insecure, judgmental, guilty. Let the things that you released stay out. Bring your body and the weight of your body to the right side of the mat. Push into the left hand. Bring your body to seated, keeping the eyes closed. Bring the two hands together in prayer. Bring your forehead to your fingers to acknowledge gratitude for yourself, for your action of waking up this morning or for take, doing this at night or whenever you do this, for taking the time to upset your life. As Pima Chodron says, things fall apart to fall into place. Thank you for joining me today. I'm wishing you joy, ease, space, and grace. I got to do the clap. Brace yourself. That's for anybody who fell asleep. Satnam Namaste.